a little bit more. Like I can't talk. Pinch myself in the face. That was dangerous. This is how the app. Focus. Infallible. Fallible. Ah, he's gonna eat me. Now, if this were. Oh. is slightly bright so I'm sorry if it's coming off pretty strong I just love my neon colors I know it's a trend right now but I just been loving this I don't know since I was a kid you know I was an esprit kid and just wearing funky colors in neon like this that I was actually nicknamed to punky Brewster yeah I got the freckles but I think she's a lot cuter than me. We're just gonna jump into this drugstore makeup look. Now, these are drugstore purchase, which means Target, CVS, Walgreens. They also offer these at the Ulta drugstore section if that's the closest store to you. So these are all purchased in different places, but again, it's available at that area. As always, I'm gonna jump in with the brows like I normally do with any makeup look. This pencil was actually purchased Ooh, it matches my shirt in Thailand at a drugstore. Now I know it's not gonna be fair to use this because you can't purchase this at a drugstore. So I actually got a dupe product. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation. I haven't used this yet. It's the same type of pencil. It's a waxed base. However, this one has a thicker applicator versus the other one, which is like a skinny pencil. This is the eyebrow pencil. It has a spoolie applicator, which is super tiny. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we're gonna try that out. Also has a angled, wax base applicator that I'm really used to so we'll see how this goes I just hope this color works for me the other color that they had was like a dark brown but they didn't have anything in between or maybe they were just out of stock that day I happened to go there so I'm gonna brush my brows with this funky little spoolie it's kind of like a teardrop shape look at that it's like really skinny and tapered at the end and it kind of fans out like a pear shape so I'm starting off by brushing the hairs. I have been experiencing a really, really dried skin. I don't know what it is. I have like dry flakes everywhere, even like around here. I don't know if I had an allergic reaction to something, but you can't see it, but you can feel that it's a little bit dried here. I'm such a crazy sleeper, guys. I don't know what it is. I catch myself waking up scratching myself or something. And in my mind, I think it's a gentle scratch, but I think I'm like, hella scratching my face. I don't know what it is. I change my pillowcases often in my um, linens just because of dust and pollen that I'm allergic to. I have an air purifier. I don't know what it is, but anyways, I've just been experiencing it. So when I do a close up and you see dry flakes and patches everywhere, it's just be dry. Anyways, let's see what the color is first. Okay, so it's like a wax base. It's a pretty soft brown, but it has some color to it. It's pretty warm, so I think this may work. Okay, it's weird. I'm sorry, right. like I normally it's not working do. Out. Let's try this again. Eyebrows are like weird when I'm applying it on. I have to get it in that rhythm and that perfect angle for me to really get that perfect shape in order to create that whole full eyebrows. If I don't get it right, mm -mm. I'm gonna have a bad this day. This brush feels so weird. The color is actually not bad. I like darker brows and I feel like this actually works perfectly. Sometimes using drugstore makeup, it's not a bad thing. I love drugstore makeup. There are just certain products that I really like. It's more affordable and sometimes it just gives you that same effect. Now this brush, I don't like, <laughs> but I'm still going to use this. So, so far it's not too bad. Mm-hmm. Now let's get over to the eyebrow that is most troublesome to me. So how are you guys doing? Are you guys enjoying your spring? The weather in the bay has been really nice. We've been having a few little sprinkles here and there. I actually stopped looking at the weather. Seriously, it's so annoying. I feel like if you check the weather and you plan something, literally opposite of what it is. So why bother even checking the weather, right? So like the weather in the bay has improved a lot, but we've just been having this surprise little shower here and there. Like yesterday was Monday and it was literally super gloomy. The sky was like dark. So you know those clouds were filled with water and it just randomly started raining but it's supposed to rain today and not yesterday right Ooh, how do my brows look today archie 
I'm gonna go in with my ultimate favorite concealer. I actually have two shades, one for highlighting, one for concealing. I'm gonna use the color neutral, which helps me shape my brows a little bit. And I use a little bit of product just to blend to have an even canvas. I don't necessarily use this as a primer, but I don't have a primer. This is a popular product. It has a little sponge applicator and you just twist it up and the products will come up right here. This is actually my second set. I've used this quite a lot. So when I went traveling, I used it and it's time for a new one because it was literally like drying up. So I'm just going to use a flat shader brush just to carve my brows. This time I'm just really focusing the highest point, which is just my arch. And voila! Like I said, I replenished this, so I'm gonna open my second package. And I'm sorry, I didn't have a chance to tell you, this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. The darker shade that I use for concealing and I'm gonna apply a little bit onto my lids is the medium because this takes forever. So this is the medium, which is closer to my skin shade. I like to use this for concealing. See how it's really close to my skin tone? Whereas the lighter one is meant for highlighting, brightening, and carving my brows. Wish I was able to show you these products that I used to use like on the daily, way before I decided to do videos because these are actually really good. A product I also did a demo and review on was the Pixie collaboration with Whaley. This is their eyeshadow palette, which is very neutral with a little bit of shimmers. One of my ultimate favorite types of palettes because it has a little bit of everything. I did wish that this was a matte black, but I could understand why she wanted more of a shimmery black charcoal color to make it more unique and different. Now, if this was a traditional matte black, it would have been easier to use as a eyeliner or to darken a eyeshadow look, but it did come with a double-ended pencil, which I will use in this video. These colors are really soft. You have shimmers, shimmer, and you got a whole bunch of mattes here. I like the range of the mattes because it's a little bit warm and you have more of a cool tone and a neutral, which is perfect for most complexions. So I'm gonna start off with this color here, which is called Potato and it does look like a potato skin color. I'm just gonna start this off in the crease. I'm literally not doing anything today, to be honest. I'm just gonna go for a walk, just kind of get some air. Definitely not gonna get any vitamin D today because it's so overcast. So I'm just gonna go for a really soft, neutral look. I'm so basic, guys, I always say that. I'm gonna go for a neutral look because that's all I do and can do. There are times I actually go bold and out of my comfort zone with more of a smokier eye look like my recent one, which was the St. Pa- Okay. Which was the St. Patrick's Day video. It was literally an extreme green smoky eye. If you guys haven't seen it, of course, I will link that down below for you guys. You can check it out. I'm literally trying to film with more colors. I've done a yellow mustard, mustard yellow. I filmed a mustard yellow eye look. I've done like a bright teal, emerald green, cobalt blue, smoky black. I don't know. Maybe I should start doing some really crazy, outrageous colors that I normally don't do just for the heck of it. <laughs> to warm up my crease a slight bit, I'm going to use the color Butis, which is kind of like a terracotta color. I'm just going to use the same brush because I'm not really worried about color differences here. Ooh, maybe. Yep, you guys hear my dog. Oh, okay. Hi. Did you want to sit up here too? You want to join the fun? Come on. No, he doesn't. Are you back? Oh, hi, baby boy. Really? That's strike two. <coughs> really? <coughs> Anybody else do this? He probably hates this. Say hi, friends. Hello. Hi. 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 So I'm just blending that same color all over the crease. I'm really not mad at this color. Like I could literally just put this all over the lid. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take that same color. I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid. Mm-hmm. Talking about stepping out of my comfort zone, guys ending up using my middle finger because I wasn't looking and I dipped that same finger into another color. Any of you guys going to Coachella? 
I'm actually not. I was just wondering because I know a lot of people are really into these festivals. So I was just wondering if you guys were going. I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I actually like using the Maybelline Mousse Gel, which is that teal tube color. That was my ultimate jam. It was like a gel moussey formulation and I loved it. Also, I heard good things about this Maybelline Sensational. Okay, now this is not sponsored by Maybelline, but I do see that I do have a good amount of products from them. This is the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. Now what really caught my eye is the brush. It has like a double-ended or dual end here. One side is more rounded and fanned so you can really curl your lashes and the other side actually separates it. Now I don't know if you guys recall me talking about Grande Lashes. I, as you can see, have no lashes whatsoever. I just love wearing lashes because it just makes me feel good and it's a temporary daily use. You can always change them out. That's why I don't really like to do lash extensions. I wanted to see if it would make a difference on my lashes. I didn't film a video because I really haven't seen any dramatic difference. I mean, if I like do this to my lashes to really tell because they're so stick straight, they don't go up, you can see that it elongated a slight, slight bit. Now I know you don't see the results until four to six weeks. I would say I've been using the Grande lashes for the past five to six weeks. Haven't seen much difference, but I did take pictures every Friday since I started. So I'll insert them here. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know if I see a big difference. I will continue using the product until it's gone and I just want to see if it does a difference. Again, I want to know your feedback, if you guys liked it or disliked it or if it worked or didn't. Let's check out how this formulation is. If it's really wet and heavy, it may not work with my lashes. I'm gonna put this by the mic. It's not too bad. It smells weird. It's curved and rounded. I'm gonna use the rounded side first because it's gonna help. My lashes are just so straight. All right, gonna use the other side to comb it out. Whoa, okay, this formulation is like so wet. It's getting everywhere. I don't I like I actually this. heard a lot of good things about this mascara and that is why I wanted to try it out. To be honest, it doesn't really work with me. Boo. This formulation is way too wet. I'm just gonna have to put a pair of falsies on top because it's not doing any justice. So as always, you guys know my favorite lashes are drugstores. This is the Kiss Blowout Edition and it's really fluffy. And these are one of my favorite pairs, which is Pixie. Nice because it's kind of tapered and it's more like a demi wispy, but it's so fluttery. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite lash glues that I purchased. This is also by Kiss Lashes. This is called the Eye Glue. This is really cute. It has like a cooling property on the skin when you apply it on and it's also blue, but it does clear dry. What? I'm so excited guys, cause I'm going to Hawaii, like I mentioned. I'm literally packing my stuff already cause I'm so excited. These are how the lashes look like. They're soft, they're fluttery. They're just perfect. My lashes are so stick straight. This one in the center here is just going droop. Just the lovely. I'm gonna let my lashes calm down a bit. I'm gonna use the Pro Infallible. This is by L'Oreal. This is their glow formulation, which I really, really like. I'm actually in between shades from them and this is the closest. And what I normally do is just use that highlighter in the center of the face just to kind of balance it out if it tends to be a little yellow. This is a really pretty foundation, guys. It really does give a nice glowy effect. It's light on the skin. I've actually tried the matte one, which was way too matte on me. This still has my freckles peeking through, which is totally fine. I'm gonna go back in with the medium shade to do a little concealing. I'm gonna go back with that highlighter and I'm just going to just dab my cheek. And I like using this stippling brush because the tip of this brush, I can actually do thin motions to really feather that product out without really packing it onto the skin. I'm gonna go back in with that same beauty's color and I'm just gonna rim my lower eyes. I'm gonna go in with the eyeliner and this is a double-ended. One side is 
a coal pencil, which is a regular liner. The other side is a traditional felt tip liner. I'm going to start off with the pencil and I'm just going to tight line my upper waterline and it looks just like this. It's a little broken, but there's still product there. Oops, let's try this again. There we go. That Ooh. really darkened my eyes. I'm going to rim the bottom. I'm just going to use a little bit of the mascara that I don't really like. Yeah, this formulation is way too heavy for me, but just the smallest amount with the fan side, I'm just going to coat the bottoms. Oh, I literally got it in my eyeball, but I was able to remove it. If I just close my eyes, it actually rims the bottom from the top a slight bit, but not a lot. So I'm going to go in with my highlighter and contouring, and it's in a matte formulation. This is actually my second one. I don't know what happened to my first one. This one is the Dolce de Leche. I like this color because it's more of a cool tone. It's not too warm. I can actually still use this brush because it's not wet. It's not damp. I'm just going to use a little bit of this color, and I'm just going to sculpt out my cheeks. Mm-hmm. The highlighter portion, I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna use more of a tapered brush. Stomach just made a weird noise. I'm gonna put a little bit, really? And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brow bones and whatever's left over, I'm just gonna highlight the center of my face. Now to top off this look, this has been my favorite drugstore lippy. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu. It literally smells so good. It's just a soft pinky. You could use this alone. You could use this as a topper. I like this color a lot because I can overline my lips. Look how much I overline my lips. And then here's a trick on the center. Instead of rounding out the cupid's bow, I just go right across. Here, I'll just put a little bit more for that nice pout. Literally just punched myself in the chest because I was trying to pull my sleeve and it got caught in my bracelet so it didn't move anywhere but just my hand. So I lied. I didn't do nothing to my hair. I just put it in a little top knot. Like I said, I'm just going to go out for a walk. Yeah, just kind of chilling today. So this is the look I came up with. The eyeshadows look pink or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just a shirt and the lip gloss that's actually making it seem like it's really pink. I like this. It's a perfect everyday look. The eyeshadows is just a matte color. I literally just used two colors. Instead of using a shimmery color, I just went for all matte look. I just used this, applied it here and a little bit under my brow bone just to give it that little punch. Used all drugstore makeup, which is really affordable and there's nothing wrong with it. I really like drugstore makeup and I also love my bougie luxury line stuff at Sephora. The only thing I disliked was the mascara. It was too heavy for my eyes, the formulation. I actually love the brow pencil. It really shaped my brows pretty good. I mean, I think they're pretty on point today. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a new product that I tried and it just worked out perfectly. As always, I'm going to link everything down in the info box for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this quick get ready with me using drugstore makeup and my crazy dog. I hope you guys... Sorry, my dog just had to tell me that he did a number one and number two, which means he gets a treat. But since he didn't follow me into this room, maybe I will because I need to finish this outro before I get another interruption. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more. Top five favorite eyeliners, a Coachella makeup look. I have the new Givenchy foundation that I'm still editing. Hopefully it's up by now. If it is, I'll put that in the link below. If not, subscribe to my channel so you guys can be notified of my new videos. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. I love you and see you guys soon. Bye.